Hello, welcome. This will be part six of the eyeshadows I've used so far in 2022. If you're new to my channel, one of my goals this year was to use all of my eyeshadows, whether it's in a eyeshadow palette or it's a single eyeshadow, but to use each eyeshadow I own at least once. And as I use them, I put them aside so I'm not tempted to reach for the usual, um, I, my usual eyeshadows. Um, but so that's one of my goals this year. I, I am halfway there, a little over halfway, maybe 60% there. Um, it is October and I don't think I will reach that goal of using all my eyeshadows, which is okay with me, but I'm still going to continue going through the ones I haven't used till I use it up. I started this goal, or this challenge, personal challenge, um, in December of 2021 and it's October 2022 and I'm 60% there. The original goal was not to buy any new shadows till I use up what I use what I have at least once. I did not meet that goal. I failed in that goal because I've purchased uh, many eyeshadows since, but I'm not seeing it as a failure. I'm still continuing continuing the challenge um, to use up. Not to use up, to use every single shadow I have um, in my beauty capsule till I've gone through all of them. So although I've purchased more, I'm still continuing this. Um, it'll be interesting to see when <laughs> I actually meet this goal, what month and how long it takes me to reach it. Um, I have no makeup on. I'm not feeling 100%, but I feel like filming. <laughs> um, I only have, I don't have any base makeup on, but I have just lipstick. Um, Lisa Eldridge Velvet Cinnabar. Um, I thought I lost this lipstick and I was looking for it everywhere. <laughs> and. I was about to go repurchase it and I thought let me look under my dresser and it was right there cozied up under my dresser and I finally um, I wanted to wear it I think twice when I was looking for it and I couldn't find it and finally when I found it I that's the only lipstick I've worn since it's been two days since I found it um, so I'm wearing Velvet Cinnabar and this is what it looks like. Lisa Eldridge Velvet Cinnabar. And there it is. So I'm happy I found it. So without further ado, let's get into this video. This is usually what I put all the shadows I've used so far um, in. And when it gets full, it's overflowing right now. Um, this video is long overdue, but I um, haven't had time to film the last week or so. Most videos you've seen have been just, when I get time, I batch film. Um, I plan on doing the same today, <laughs> but these are the shadows I've used so far. Part 6 of this, and the first one is this Unearthly Cosmetics Creepy Crawly Eyeshadow and Pressed Pigment Palette. This is beautiful. This came in the Halloween Mystery box. And this is what it looks like. I think by the time you see this video, you, you would have seen the unboxing and me using this quad. And I'll also link it below. So you can watch it if you're interested. So there's that. These are, not cover the mirror, some singles, eyeshadows. 
use the Nomad Ice Sun Fire and Fire and Ice palette. Looks like that. Another palette of singles. Beautiful. I love my single eyeshadows. <laughs> I guess I should specify, I love my indie single eyeshadows so, so much. These include Davina Cosmetics, um, Luxy Shadow, Pastel Roses, uh, Pretties for Your Face, The Glam Shop, Sydney Grace, JD Glow, Terra Moon, who else do I see? Um, Shroud Cosmetics, Luxy. Yeah, this is beautiful. I enjoyed using my I, I enjoy using my indie shadows. Um, uh, chocolate martini glam light looks like that. My Suku signature eye signature color eyes one nineteen. This is their one of their quads from their 2022 pre-holiday collection. Any, if I've done a video creating a look or using any of these shadows or palettes or quads, I will link it below so you can go look. Um, if it's not linked below, it's somewhere in on my channel and you can go watch the video this is the other suku signature color eyes this is 118 from the 2022 pre holiday collection odin's eye saga of freya i think this one is the cat's breath yep I'll cover the mirror here and that's what it looks like another Odin's Eye Hella palette this is what it looks like really enjoyed using this palette and I look forward to using it again um, one of the things I realized doing this um, challenge personal challenge which I think the name for this challenge or this goal or project on YouTube is no pen left behind. I think I said it was no eyeshadow left behind in a video previously, but I think it's no pen left behind. Um, but something I've learned is I'm grateful that I'm doing this project because this <laughs> example, this palette. I enjoyed using it and if I don't set it aside just like many other palettes I would keep reaching for it because there are shadows in here that I want to I created a look enjoyed that look and I want to do the wear the look over and over and over again um, but after I go through and use at least and use all my shadows at least once I'm curious to see which shadows I constantly reach for after this project is done. So this is the Pat McGrath Celestial Odyssey Lux Squad Bronze Borealis. I did a video with this quad. I have not yet edited it and uploaded it. If I do, if I do get around to it and post it then I'll link it below. If not, it's coming sometime. But I really, really enjoyed this quad. Um, it's it's neutral. Some might say it's boring. Um, it's nothing exciting like a flashy, colorful quad. But I truly enjoyed it and I really felt pretty when I used it. Um, just a nice bronze look. Next is a Shantakai Duo. It's um, in Kenya. And that it was, that's what it looks like. This is my first time using a silicone applicator to apply eyeshadow. 
and I was pleasantly su surprised by the finish, not just the finish it gives, but um, how it applies shadows. Um, I'm still learning and experimenting and I look forward to using it more, not just for these shadows, but for other shadows and see how shadows perform with different applicators, especially the, especially the silicone one in here. Next I have the Linda Hallberg Cosmetics Shimmer Saga Quad. Beautiful. Zendo, yeah, mini Zendo palette. Looks like that. One of my favorite um, minis from her. Like it better than the Midi Zendo. <laughs> um, I have this here. It's not an eyeshadow, or well, this is an eyeshadow. Um, this is Divina Uzma highlighter, and then this is Viseat um, Ex Espresso eyeshadow. I put these away because I was reaching for them many, 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 many times. So I decided to put them away and use something else for highlighter and use my other highlighters and also use something else for my brow powder but as you can see I've hit pen here and I love this Davina um, highlighter also if you don't know I have a Davina non-affiliate code I don't earn anything from it but it's for you to save 20% um, off select items from her site and um, the code is Lock Maiden, just Lock Maiden. If you do use it, thank you. The next is my <laughs> Halloween duped palette. Um, I'm going to try and cover it here. That's the mirror, but that's the palette. As of the filming of this video, they have done their first restock and it's sold out. I set my alarm to order, to place an order, or to order the restock, um, to order the, to order the palette when it restocks, and I didn't purchase it, and I'm okay not purchasing it because I'm okay with my duped version of the palette. Yes, it would be nice to have that palette, but the shade Crypt, I realized, was probably one of a few reasons why I want the palette. And I, the palette is $42, and I think you can use a coupon code on it, but when I thought about it, I thought, so does that mean I'm getting Crypt? One eyeshadow for $42. So I didn't buy it because I didn't need it. I'm satisfied with my duped version and so far I've used this twice which means I probably wouldn't reach for that palette as more than I would reach for this one I guess if I were to buy it. I have a lot of eyeshadows, so I'm satisfied with this one. I'm excited about this one, um, and I look forward to using it more. I have not removed them, um, I guess disassembled them and put them with the other singles I have because I want it to stay this way and see how much I reach for it. Uh, mermaid Eye Color shell, seashell, starfish, starfish, and copper. So use these. The next eyeshadow is the Isamea um, eyeshadow palette. I had to, when I first got this palette and I was trying to, and I was planning on my first video, I was like, how do you put, is it Isamaya or Isamaya? 
because my first instinct was to say Isamaya. So I had to look up a video where Isamaya French actually pronounced, said, introduced herself. So she said Isamaya as in A, the alphabet A, because in my language the alphabet A is pronounced A. Ah. So my thought was to say Isamaya, but she pronounces it Isamaya. So <laughs> before I say the name, I always remember, okay, English, English letter. Um, Isamaya color pigments eyeshadow palette. And this is what it looks like. I have used this so, 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 so many times. <laughs> and I love this shades. I love this eyeshadow palette. She is due to release her um, her next collection this month, October. So I'm excited to see what it looks like. The last eyeshadow I have here, or eyeshadow palette, is Fantasy Cosmetica, the Druid palette. Mm. Beautiful. Enjoyed using this palette. Created three or four looks using it. Wore it many times and I enjoyed all the looks that I created. The looks, how they all came out. So they have the Sorcerer and Bard palette. Those, although I enjoy the, the gamer and me enjoyed the theme, the sorcerer, and the druid, not druid, I have druid, and the bard part of those palettes. The color stories didn't speak to me um, enough to buy them, but I'm glad I have at least a piece of the brand. That is it for all the shadows I've used so far. Um, time to start filling this up again. But. Let me know if you like this way of doing this video. The past ones, the previous ones, have been just the camera was aimed at my hands and the palette and I showed you. Let me know if you like that versus seeing my face and I'll show you the palette. Um, also let me know if either one is fine with you, it doesn't matter. Um, I think that's it. Thank you all for watching. If you do like this video, please click the like button. Subscribe if you haven't. And also hit the notification button if you'd like to see the next few videos, the next future videos <laughs> um, from me. Um, I think that's it. I'm a bit... I need to go nurture. <laughs> Rest my voice. Um, drink some hot tea but thank you all for watching taking the time to watch um, I will see you in my next video